happens is over years of chronic sun exposure, you have increased neovascularization or increased new blood vessels, which gives skin that kind of ruddy red appearance. And you have hyperpigmentation juxtaposed to hypo or deep pigmentation where the melanocytes or the pigment producing cells stop producing melanin or pigment because of the photo damage, or they're upregulating their melanin synthesis to help photo protect from the uh, UV insult that the skin is exposed to. So it's just kind of this hot mess that happens in the neck, happens in the chest too, decollete, and usually there's a combination of lasers that can be used to treat it. Usually V-beam or some um, get the red out laser in the red scope of lasers with respect to the wavelengths of 595, 532 nanometer wavelength lasers. I hear my brain getting too scientific, so I'm gonna try to take it down a notch. So there's V-beam, there are KTP, there's XLV, there's different lasers that will get the redness out or the red component out of the neck skin. But then you wanna do something that's gonna upregulate collagen synthesis, like a Fraxel or a CO2 or an Erbium or a Halo or a Clear and Brilliant. It could be fractionated or non-fractionated. It could be ablative or non-ablative. And if you're not sure about what I mean about that, refer to my other videos where I kind of get into the specifics with lasers and do a little laser lecture for you guys. But usually it's a combination of lasers and anywhere between one to three treatments are needed um, for best response, but this can offset that photo damage and pigmentation alteration that can kind of give that neck that kind of ruddy aged appearance.